Hi, my name is Mike Harbour, and thank you for visiting my website. The shot we're going to show you is from a greenside bunker. The first thing I'd like for you to do is have the proper equipment. A 50-60 degree sand wedge with either 14 or 16 degrees bounce. Bounce is this, is this small edge underneath the bottom of your sand wedge. 14 or 16 degrees is recommended, which will allow it to hit the sand and clear a path for you to swing the club through hitting the golf ball out of the bunker. The next thing I'd like to recommend is proper weight distribution. When you're inside these bunkers, I would recommend that you have 75 to 80% of the weight on your lead leg. If you're a right-hander, it will be your left leg, and if you're a left-handed golfer, it'll be on your right leg. 75% of the weight on the left. Now, in order to use your sand wedge properly, in order to use the bounce properly, we're gonna have to rotate the club face open to allow this to be sticking out first. If we hold it normal, you'll see that that bounce is not being used properly. So as we rotate the club open, we're now gonna have to rotate our body to the left to allow for the open club face. So we're gonna have our body aiming eight to 10 feet left of the flag. We want the club face rotated open to allow the bounce to hit the sand first. As far as your swing, the length of your golf swing, I would like you to use the face of the clock as your example. If it's 12 o'clock is here, and as we go across, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We're going to make a swing, depending on your distance, 9 to 3, 10 to 2, with the weight on your left-hand side. Ball position will be placed slightly forward of middle. So we have the weight on the left, 75% of the weight will be on your left-hand side. Your body will be aimed 8 to 10 feet left of the flag with the club face slightly open to use the bounce. Once you are in this position, you will be making a 9 to 3 or a 10 to 2 swing. This particular shot here will look somewhat similar to 10 to 2. You use these tips and you will definitely be more successful coming out of the bunker.